Welcome or welcome back friends. I'm Jen from Jen's House of Six. Today I'll be taking you with me as I decorate my home for fall. To really appreciate the after, you must have a good view of the before. And that is what this is. I'm not crazy about sharing time-lapse videos because I feel like it makes you feel like you're in a hurry or you know must do everything so quickly but I have to say that before I edited this video and all the footage this video would have been one hour and 30 minutes long and there's no way that um, I would want to upload a video that long of just watching me clean. So therefore, I used the time lapse. My boys all were gone on a hunting trip to Wyoming and they had been gone about almost a week when this video was being recorded. And so I decided while they were gone that we would just go and have fun and enjoy the season, us girls, and visit pumpkin patches. And that I wanted to get the house all cleaned and enjoy it while it was just the two of us. And also get it ready for fall so that when they came home it was just sparkling and ready for the season. Now I know I'm probably a little late to the game. But that's okay. It's still enjoyable no matter when it gets put out, if at all. I must say there is something about pulling out all of the things from months earlier that have been stored away. It really is like an old friend coming to visit. It just brings such joy and kind of like, oh, hey, there you are. I've missed you. I just love fall and all the rich colors. I love Thanksgiving. We usually host at my home we have for the last several years and it's just so much fun. And of course, you cannot be done decorating for fall without hanging a wreath on the door, right? As I said earlier, I'm not crazy about time-lapse videos because it just speeds it up and makes it feel like I was rushing through this when I really was not. I took my time and this is so relaxing and calming to me. I enjoy this so much and it's just trial and error to get it how you like it and there's no right way or wrong way to do this. So I just got everything out and looked at it and decide where I want to put what and then just play around until it's to my liking. But you always got to start with a clean surface. Or at least I do anyways. percentage I would say 90 plus percent of my fall decor is thrifted and if it's not thrifted then I got it on major sale after the season I don't like to pay full price you've probably figured that out by now but um yeah, so every year when I get everything out, I usually get rid of a few things that I'm just not loving anymore. And then I may or may not add one or two pieces that I see in the store that I just love. But again, it's 
always on sale. I don't know if any of you have ever used fairy lights and they are just these little small lights that are battery operated and they have a timer on them most of them do and then an on and off switch but I love them so much they give just the right amount of twinkle to your shiny dishes I had my daughter video for me just a few times for this video and <laughs> she has a problem with holding still so I'm sorry if that makes you sick <laughs> She takes great still photos, but she's still learning how to video. I have had this corn for several years and I love that it never gets old and you can just use it over and over and over again. a few years ago that I wanted to decorate with real pumpkins on the outside of my home instead of fake and then having to store them all year it was kind of hard for the inside I tried to buy the cloth pumpkins the ones that I thought were really pretty colored I even special ordered some off of Instagram of some people that I follow and then a lot came from the Target dollar spot and also on clearance like at Marshalls or TJ Maxx Home Goods after the season. But I love the cloth pumpkins the most because they're so easy to store and I don't have to worry about them breaking or being dented or anything like that. last year that since I have dishes for the holiday that I would take out my everyday dishes and store them just for a couple of months while the season is in full swing and we would use those and I'm so glad that I decided to do this because I know my children will grow up and they'll remember that we use those dishes for fall or Christmas or spring, you know, for the holidays. It's fun to collect beautiful things, but if they don't serve a purpose or bring a memory, then it won't be something that my children will want to treasure. Or I feel like it will be a waste just not to use it, you know? So, I'm so glad I made that decision. I wish I would have years ago, but hindsight is 2020, right? We can start from today and move forward. I 
I've had the hardest time trying to find a runner that fits my very long farmhouse table. Even this one, even though it does cover both edges, it could be a little longer, but that's okay. Maybe one of these days I will make one. One thing I always try to do is keep a little bit of candy out in the middle of the table, even when it's not the holiday. And I guess the reason is because my husband has a major sweet tooth. And also, it's been very common for my kids. It's just normal that there's always candy out. And when we would go to other people's houses, they didn't go and try to hoard the candy like they've never had candy before in their life. It's so funny because some kids come over and you can tell they don't have candy sitting out all the time. And so they just eat it up and eat it up and you find wrappers everywhere. But... My children weren't like that, I guess because it was just familiar to them. I'm sure you all have noticed that there is no TV hanging on the wall. And that is because the TV broke just the week before. And so I went ahead and had my nephew help me take it down while the boys were gone so that I could get everything cleaned and ready for when they came home. I knew we would have to go buy another TV because ours broke. <laughs> and whatever new TV we get, I am going to have my husband or my dad build a frame around it so that when we have company or when it's off, we can put a really pretty picture on it and it looks like art instead of an ugly black hole. <laughs> mm. Now you guys can enjoy the after video of all of that stuff laying on the ground and how pretty it looks all together. I also decided to sell the fireplace insert so that I could use it for storage. I just need my husband to build a shelf and then I'll probably buy some baskets for that. I knew when we purchased it that I shouldn't have done that because we need all the storage we can get in this little home, but we did enjoy the little fireplace for about two years. And I also hope that you guys stay tuned at the end where you can get a peek of my hunters coming home this night about one o'clock in the morning. I had just gotten to bed for maybe half an hour because I stayed up late making sure everything was spick and span and all the laundry was done because I knew they were going to bring a mess and a pile of laundry home with them. But I didn't care. I was happy to see them. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this fall decorate with me and a little mini tour. And also a peek at Mama happy that her men came home. Thanks for watching, friends. We'll see you on the next one.
some hand drawn and hand colored papers and these are papers that I have saved from my children over the years from Sunday school and at school papers they've made for Thanksgiving writing what they've been thankful for I really wish I would have kept all of them and I may have them somewhere but I decided to store them with my fall decorations and bring them out every year and I do not regret it because I love seeing their little handwriting and the things that they were thankful for as babies basically 